first off, uh, when you have a beard like this, people just take you seriously. And of course it helps when you lower your voice just like this. Uh, well, warning. I, I guess we should put a warning in here. Warning, warning to all kids watching at home. Raising into a multi-way pot with Deuce 3 will only prolong your career at McDonald's. Seriously. I mean, really. I mean, just because you have a beard, you're a social media influencer, and have a blonde wife doesn't mean you're the next to Unger. What do we have here? Uh, okay, so Johnny Vibes hits his Miracle 3 on the river. He got a baby full house, and he bets $300 into a $455 pot because Mike Apostle uh, checked the river. So now it's $755 in the pot, and Apostle re-raises to $990. Now Johnny Vibes is... Uh, going to go into the tank he's going to squirm a little bit and we're going to that'll be part of our uh poker body language we're going to be watching johnny vibes as he's squirming to a 990 dollar raise but when mike apostle called your hundred dollar bet on the flop i mean you've got to kind of in the back of your mind think hey maybe he's got a 10 he easily could have had a 10 you got to be suspicious when there's a pair on the board, you make a little bet, and somebody calls you, you have to be suspicious that they, they have trips. It happens all the time. Poker body language tells. But the thing about these young hipsters and these GTO guys, they don't really understand that there's a lot of us older guys with a lot of TOT, time on table. And yes, it's very easy for us to spot uh, poker tells, the body language. So we're going to get into that here. Right now, matter of fact, without further ado, okay. So let's look at Johnny Vibes. Here he is. This is how he looks before he hits his baby full house. So he's vulnerable and weak. There's his facial expression. This is what he looks like before he hits his three on the river. And then all of a sudden, the three hits on the river. And here we go. Let's take a look at it real quickly. Pretty soon. Now the three hits on the river. Watch how his expression changes. See how the lip? Now you can see his lip. He's going to slightly tilt. Okay, watch it again. Uh, this is before the three hits. Okay, then the three hits. You see his lip. He's more relaxed. He tilts the head. This is a big sign. When players tilt their head, he looks over at your stack. And now the, the tilting of the head. Look, He first looked at your stack. Then he looks at you. He's figuring out how much am I going to bet. Again, watch it. Okay, this is his... His face, that was before the, the three hits. Now the three hits, he's more relaxed. He's tilting the head. He's trying to figure out how much am I going to take from you. And you see, the body language, totally different. Now remember, he thinks he's ahead here. He, he hit that three on the river, and he thinks he's ahead. Go back and watch it again if you want to. I mean, basically what you're watching here is Johnny Vibes going from weak to strong. In his mind, that's a poker tell. And now we're going to look at him as he's squirming after he gets re-raised to $990. And now he's squirming. He's in the tank. And uh, basically, he doesn't, he fails here. He, he loses a big bet. He, doesn't, he does not put his opponent on a 10. And uh, this is the squirming part. So I'll watch, you know, now you get to just watch him squirm a little bit. Uh, I'll just let you enjoy it for a while. So I'll pay you off. I mean, $990 is nothing to me. I travel the world, blame poker. Okay, what's the moral of the story here? Don't play shit cards. Unless you're, you know, unless you're running the table over. I mean, and no one is close to you in chip winnings. I mean, there's a difference when you're in fifth gear, you're running the table over. But I don't think that was the situation here. I think basically what we had here is a guy, a hipster, a GTO player, up against a better quality opponent. 